play a little game, shall we? Well, my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. Suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. Never stop. As my father likes to say, the man holds few secrets. The flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it? Foresters. Two at most. What was that? The Lord? Shh! Listen! Hear that? I know I heard something. We've wasted enough time already. Bloody hell. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls to a leadership. But 300 generations of forester lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river that hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, that father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <laughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Thief Eric was supposed to... 
supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we're stealing them. Two shields in three. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by. He's right. I've a family to feed, and not two coins to rub together. Not here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always thieves fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The message as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will permit it. He can send him to the war. I will decide. Take his fingers! He's a thief! Punishing an innocent man will be an injustice. Please, my lord, my family depends. I sentence you to the wall where you will join the. Please, my lord, my family, without me, they'll die. Seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what I think this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of difficulty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. Side between them. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is a small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then. Know that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel are all to see. I understand. Now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene this door, my lord. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. 
We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. The Hortons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out. We'd only last a fortnight. Ah, uh, steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. But before, in desperate times, the last long winter, my family give all our pigs to the house. Even if you don't decide, you may need to soon enough. Until then, I can speak to the trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. Carve this to give me strength. And this... I mean, I could never forget, but you know, don't you? You honour Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someday I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword, I'm sure of it. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Keeps talking about them. Enemies. Enemy? But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make him a real sword when I do. came to me. I know this house. Everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrick to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. I haven't but I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, a small council meeting. Very good. Judgment, my lord. Sentinel, so Thank you, my lord, but are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must counsel, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or to do it at once. Ethan, or should I 
say Lord Ethan. Hello, Uncle. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow for first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Is, you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be on to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. I've been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. My mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my, my people are scared as well. Let's choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Dylan is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. I trust him. You're right. Sir Royland seems the man for the job. We are war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. She? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord White. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... Ethan, tell me. I... I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. You, this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Ash and Roderick ever were. I know it. I wish you did too. You've always given advice. Thank you. Mr. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? At my Ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? Greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our Ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then... That could be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name... Yes, Maester. I'm ready. I will convene the small council at once.
may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. But my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, Taos needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine but I have made my decision. Sir Royland, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. <laughs> Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to... He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can use a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the... Even the bastard Razzy must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble. Everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the council, is it not? I will hear from my sentinel. Please. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. I may fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. Us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentle, please. Thea has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help. Mother. What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not bring for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons a exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to be the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! as skilled in the way of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. May be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. He made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. We served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide to set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate, force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon us. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall. Face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall... Men, we hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. Enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served your house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord. Oh, the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will not Ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord. 
Sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have faithfully served with Emily for many years. I, I sent my own nephew to the wall to protect me. Just remember that. Give me. There will always be those who question you, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family, Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the fight, a hunger for it. He always brings your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But what if he returns? You want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. It is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan in battles. But when Asher saw it, he breath, grabbed the miller's boy by the neck. That was his first incident. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else he needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need You have many fine qualities. You do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous. I don't... His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at you always helps. Especially now. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. You will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us and she may be able to help us yet.